Alright, so now that we have our creation process set up, uh, we're going to set up a distance query so that we can return a list of casinos, how far they are away from a certain point. So the first thing I'm going to do is just clean up, well, I already deleted uh, some of the junk data we had before. And right now we just have the Bellagio, so I'm just going to add a couple more casinos. And we'll add the win. And three casinos should be enough for us to, and they're far enough apart that we should be able to distinguish if the distance we're getting back is somewhat correct or not. So the way we're going to set this up is we're going to allow users or front end team to pass in latitude and longitude as query strings. So up here, you can say latitude equals whatever it is and longitude equals whatever it is. And they can get this from you know a JavaScript request to find the user's location. So that way they can find out the casinos that are furthest from them. So we're going to do this by overriding the get query set inside of our view. Oops, it's not the right one. Get query set. And the first thing we'll do is just return our initial query set. And all this is doing is getting the query set that would have defaulted anyway, which in this case is casino objects at all. So all the casino objects. And from here, we'll try and pull out our latitude and longitude. So we'll check our query parameters and see if there are any. Do the same thing for longitude. And all this is doing is checking our query parameters to see if they exist. And if they do, then they'll add that value to latitude. And if it does not exist, then it will just give latitude the value of none. And that way we can do a check down here, like if latitude exists, and longitude exists, then we can create a new point object that it uses the latitude and longitude. Now this time we can create the point object, we're going to have to use a Geos Geometry point, which means we'll just have to call this library to set the point. And we'll follow the same kind of steps as before to set this up. Empty space in between. And a closing parenthesis. And this time we actually do have to provide an SRID or we'll give us an error. And it's 4326. And that's just the default geographic location system. Um, I did already import this up here. Uh, if you don't have it imported, well, I'll just delete it so I'll show you. you just click Alt Enter and import it. Okay, and finally we're going to have to use a distance function to query the distance between points. And you can find information about this under geographic database functions under the documentation in Django for GIS. And it explains it here, accepts two geographic fields and returns the distance between them. Uh, you can even see an example here. And this is exactly what we're looking for, the annotate function, so that it will return the distance between um, our point and all the points on that object. So we'll do query set equals query set dot annotate. And so the first um, argument is the first point, and that's going to be the location on, on each casino object. 
and the second is going to be our point that we just created. And we're going to order our results by the distance. And you can import this again by pressing Alt Enter. And here, this time there's a couple different ones to choose from. Make sure you choose this one. It's the gis.db.models.functions distance. Okay, so now that we have that, we can go back to our serializer. And we can add distance. And we'll also add it to the read-only field. Um, almost forgot we have to declare it here above first because it's not an actual field on the on the casino model. So we can declare it up here. And we're going to make it a decimal field, so it returns with two decimal points. And the source of it is distance.mi. Now, this is just calling the mileage on it. I think by default it returns meters. I'm not 100% sure on that, but by typing .mi it will return miles. Um, the rest of this Oops, false and read only. True. And I guess we don't need it down here also, it's redundant. Okay, and with that in place, this should be good to go. We can give it a shot. So here is our Oh, and I can see what happened. We forgot to return our query set. And that's going to be a problem. We won't, if we don't return our query set, then that's why we're not getting any results. Okay, so here we have our normal um, endpoint, and it doesn't include the distance. But if we go ahead and get some coordinates, And we'll just do Iron Yard, Las Vegas. And we'll pull out this, pull out the latitude and longitude. And say lat. Oops. And long, what's that? And give it a try. And you can see this time we get distance markers for how far away each casino is. Now this is a little confusing to me because the Bellagio I believe is further away than the win. Um, but I think for all our purposes this is working. I am a little bit baffled by this bar right now. I'm not going to lie. But uh... Regardless, it's close enough. Uh, these geographic systems are not precise. If you look up these coordinates in Google Maps, for example, you won't get a precise answer. And I'm not exactly sure why. I think it might have something to do with SRID. There might be something you can get more specific to Las Vegas. But anyway, this should be working as far for uh, well, you know for general purposes. This should be fine. So uh, that's all I got for you. I'll look into it to see if there's something else that's going wrong here but um other than that this should be okay for you guys so if you have any more questions just hit me up all right good luck to you guys